Hey, it's Joe Glines, my animator, and this is a great script we get to share with you today. We've been developing it for, boy, years, honestly. Uh, let me go ahead and share my screen. What it does, we call it the uh, effortless video reducer because it, it just it's super simple. Now, if you use Handbrake, Handbrake does 8 billion things, and it does it better than our tool, but our tool is just really easy to use. So if you have a video that you want to reduce the size, now let's see, here's, here's a, um, a video that's uh, three and a half minutes long. I'm just going to drag it in here, and it's going to start processing it. Now, we've preset. Here's ultra fast. Um, there's some options. The slower you go, the better the quality. But honestly, that ultra fast, it's really hard to tell the difference between it and the original. So um, for the most part, that's almost all I ever use. The encoder, now here's the tricky part. Not all players have the H.265. Um, and we have some little tool tips here to help you understand when you want to use one over the other. VLC and a lot of other tools um, have the H.265 encoding. Windows Media Player doesn't, but you can get it, but they want to charge like a dollar, but it's ridiculous. Um, here, with the H.265, look at how much space we saved. So this new file is 13% c compared to the size of the original. So we saved over 80 megs. Out of a 93 meg file, it went down to 12.4 megs, right? So let me show you here. This is what you can type in, this is what's going to append it, because otherwise it would overwrite the original file. Um, so it live did that. And then you can actually change the resolution. We don't also don't recommend you do this, because that will take a lot longer to run. And it also often gets a little complicated, because if you're going below 1080p, if you do 720 or 40, you probably want to use the H.264. This is what that our little tool to appear to helps tell you. Um, we use just leave the original size and adjust shrinks it down so let me show you here so here's the original hey, of course it opened uh, on the other window a little script you can work, use it to save basically anything very quickly but i'm going to pretend here so here here is let me grab a screenshot of this now i'm going to move it over here and i'm going to close this now remember this is the original i'm going to run it on the new one hey it's your line's router. let's jump to around here that way but that's not very save him so look at the, this is the, the difference in quality, right? Can you tell? I, like, I don't even see a difference. It's crazy, right? And yet we've, you know, it's down to 13%. So what is that? 87% uh, smaller. Um, and we have some stats here. And then also uh, in our tool, let me, let me close this down. We have preferences where you can have it remove any metadata that's on the file, which is nice because sometimes there'll be a title or author or whatever if you want to strip it out you can just turn this on or off so that that'll that'll remember it from your last time that's like a hard preference um i even though i've never had a problem with it i still like to manually delete my source after doing it um if you wanted to see what the ffmpeg because that's what the tool we're using in the background right um you can see this this is really for debugging but you guys don't need that um you can decide hey you don't like our presets let's say you wanted to go with faster and um, a higher, we use low, because the audio, honestly, for people talking, 32K is okay, right? But you can bump it up if you want better quality. Um, then what you would do is you would set these. Then you can say, save as default settings. And then these settings, every time you load it, will stick. Um, so when you restart, it goes back to your default settings. Uh, but you can change them individually, which is really cool. Or you can restore our defaults. And these are our defaults, so... We do the ultra fast with that, and, and it makes really tiny files. Uh, just as an example, because some like our one hour and two hour videos um, take a while. So here, here are a couple. Let me make this a little bigger. I just grab over the last couple weeks. I've been grabbing screenshots. So here it's uh, twenty nine percent the size. So we basically saved a third. Um, and let's see, this one's probably an hour long, um, and it took fifteen minutes to process. Right. Uh, I just know because I usually do the hero calls, and this one was, uh, we're down to 22% the size, 30% uh, the size, so you get an idea, right? And it, and it changed, I think this one was a crazy, yeah, this one was 4% the size of the original. Now, this video, the one I got it from, was from an OBS, and of course it just depends how you have your settings um, set up. So, mileage may vary as far as to how much it will compress it, but again, the quality of the video, it's its really good. Um, or you can choose to, well, I'm trying to click that. You can choose to change this setting and it'll get better. The, the slower you go, the better the quality it will be. 
Uh, but it does, especially this slow, it takes a long time to process your video. So that's it. It's, uh, it is sold as an executable, so it's not a, um, a script, and it's, I think, $9.99 on the automator. It requires a license, but uh, hopefully you, you enjoy this video and check it out. It's, I, I mean, I have hundreds and hundreds of hours of auto hotkey hero calls that we um, want to save backed up, and so I just say every one of them I save, usually it's about a third the file size of what the original one is. And Zoom does a decent job of not making huge files, but this, again, usually gives it down to about 30% of what the original was. So it's, it's really um, great. Oh, also, by the way, um, I can drag in a folder. So the, here, this folder, this is everything under it, right? And it would go recursively if I drag it onto here. It will start going through. There's one of four. It skips ones that aren't videos, and then it will just start processing them and creating um, the other ones using this little extension here under it. And uh, so it just iterates over. So if you have a lot of stuff, you don't have to sit there and do onesie twosie or drag them in there a couple of times. It will just recursively loop over your folder. And um, super, very, very cool. I, I love this script so much. It's just, it's so awesome. Uh, after you're done, you can use this, by the way, to open the last folder that you were in. But if you have anything where you're storing videos, this thing is just amazing. So I hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video if you learned something. It really helped us out. Uh, have a great day. Cheers.